Let's welcome personal growth clinical psychologist Rachel Poniman. Hi again and welcome Hi. back. Welcome. Nice to be back here. <laughs> yes, the fresh year 2024. Yes. Happy New Year. Oh, Happy, Happy New, New Year, year to you as Happy well. Happy 2024. <laughs> okay, so my question yes. to you perhaps, do you also make resolutions at the beginning yeah, of the absolutely. year? Okay, that's the thing. I know I'm a psychologist, yeah. but I'm not the biggest planner. Okay. Oh, to be honest with you, I haven't made my resolution for 2024. Okay. But if you are like me, if you are, that's definitely okay. okay. Because resolutions are not just made during the new year, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to be strict to New Year's. Sometimes you make resolutions when you fail. <laughs> and then you're like, yeah, I mean, I if it makes cool. sense yeah. for you, go cool. ahead. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. okay. So there's no that time where you when you should make resolutions or not okay if you're not a planner that's fine as long mm. as it's your journey okay but why do people make it at the beginning of the year mm -hmm. what drives them to do that is there mm -hmm. any psychological reasoning behind that mm -hmm. so there are certain motivators mm. when it comes to new year resolutions one is definitely the environment i mean it's okay. the holiday season oh, it's yeah. the new year people typically feel joyful mm. and hopeful a good it's, a, it's a new start it's a new beginning yeah. the chapter yeah. of your life so people are usually optimistic in you know becoming better yeah self-improvement that's why a lot of people tend to make new year resolutions mm. mm -hmm. and you're definitely not alone right the rest of the world is doing the same thing yeah. so that adds that extra power and energy mm -hmm. to to improve yourself yeah and among yeah. the top in the list is Losing weight. <laughs> that usually is the you and know, losing weight. Uh, uh, always say that losing weight is part of self improvement. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, what psychological factors mm -hmm. that drive the pursuit of personal growth mm -hmm. at the start of the new year? Mm -hmm. So, there are definitely a few. The first one that I'd like to start with is the symbolic fresh start effect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because a new year is new, mm -hmm. people tend to symbolize New Year's as a psychological reset button. Oh, so oh, they yeah, reset yeah. themselves. Uh -huh. okay. Unconsciously, we right. see it as, oh, it's a new beginning. Hmm. So I'm leaving my past, less ideal self in the past, and hmm. then we're starting a new, improved version of ourself. Hmm. So there's kind of like that effect where it's like, reset button, let's start better now. Okay. Oh. The second thing is goal setting theory. Hmm. I'm sure you've probably heard about this before, but research has proven that people are more people would reach their goals better if it's specific. Right. And the New Year's provides an opportunity for a specific start. Right. And end of the year, end of the goal, okay. right? The New Year, 2024, kind of okay. like that. Oh. There's also the optimism bias, because mm. you're optimism feeling optimistic, bias. Bias. you're feeling hopeful. Mm. There is, you know, a lot of things, social influence, cultural yeah. norms. My favorite, my favorite is probably regret theory. Because usually in the end of the year, people feel a lot of regrets. Oh. Yeah. And then they're like, hmm, I'm going to start doing different next year. Right. They okay. start doing the opposite, which oh, is the wow. resolutions. Wow. Yeah. But I mean, would that do any harm to us if we mm -hmm. keep failing on mm -hmm. executing the resolutions? Mm -hmm. or is it maybe just too broad? Like, okay, losing weight without even knowing what is the first step to make? Mm -hmm. What are the, you know, the next steps and all mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. That leads to also why resolutions often fail hmm. because resolutions are often too big hmm. too optimistic too optimistic too, optimistic. too unrealistic yeah, and yeah. they're not clear and the hmm. most important one that people tend to forget is we don't ask ourselves why are we doing them why is it important why does it matter and if we are ready for that change okay you know hmm. people are often just making the, making resolutions without even thinking why Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Am I ready? So, without doing any mm -hmm. research first, before doing the resolution uh, yes. composing. And mm -hmm. speaking about research, and according to research, 80% uh, of us fail mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. keep up with our New Year resolution mm -hmm. by mid February. It's not even the start. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's only a month. <laughs> what month, is right? the reason we want? Mm -hmm. Only two months. Yeah, and Why? definitely. Yeah, people still do that. Yeah, we still make every resolutions. Year. Mm -hmm. So, it's definitely kind of like the same answer where we kind of like jumping on a bandwagon we're, we'll we'll do resolutions because mm. everyone is doing them so we mm. just start doing them without asking the whys mm. and whether we are ready for that change mm -hmm. and sometimes we just like you know go with the flow of the vibe and we start losing focus on what matters i think that's why a lot of people like fail oh. okay so 
your suggestion, yeah. so towards the end of the year, before mm -hmm. we start or a step into the new year, mm -hmm. what would be your suggestion for mm -hmm. people, you know, to understand, okay, what have I done this past year mm -hmm. and what needs to be improved? Mm -hmm. Do you have any like tips that can be good mm -hmm. for people in, I don't know, re making into realization of what resolutions they would mm -hmm. about to make? Mm -hmm. I think worth New Year's <clears throat> thinking about the past year. Mm. It's important to start with gratitude because we uh -huh. humans, we yeah. have a terrible habit of scanning through the negatives. But right. we forget about what good happened this year. Mm. What am I grateful for? What am I thankful for? And mm. how can I grow even more from there? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's important to look at our limitations, our weaknesses. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. But we can also improve what we did great on. Mm -hmm. you know, start with great gratitude. Mm -hmm. That's probably my number one tip in making resolutions. And, and, and you mentioned as well that it's sometimes the resolutions are just too broad or yes. too general. Mm -hmm. um, you have any, is it, is it good to, you know, mm -hmm. within the span of one year, maybe mm -hmm. you check on your resolutions mm -hmm. after the first mm -hmm. quarter, not yeah. even the first quarter, mm -hmm. like first three months yeah, maybe. Yeah. of the year? I feel like that's year. a good habit to have, you check know, to whether, routinely check yeah. yourself. Are you in the right way? Lane or not? Is there a way to make our resolutions can be achieved? Um, there are definitely several ways to make mm. it more achievable. Yeah. The first one is remember that less is better. Don't start 2024 with 10 resolutions. Oh my, yeah. I don't know what's going to happen with that, but my suggestion is probably start mm. with like five to seven. Mm -hmm. That's like a good number to start. And five try to, to make it okay. into smart goals. When you're writing down your resolution, mm -hmm. SMART is an acronym, so it stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. So if your goals are SMART goals, you can focus more on doing it instead of, oh, how do I do this? When do I do this? Because mm -hmm. it's already SMART. The second tip is to prioritize. Because not all of your resolutions are equal in importance. Yes, oh, okay. correct. So when you're writing them down, mm -hmm. try to put them in order of most very Quiet. important mm -hmm. to the least. So then you can see what you need to focus on first. Mm -hmm. The third is to definitely seek support. Whether it's from your family mm -hmm. or friends, mm -hmm. just share your goals with them. Mm -hmm. Because they can be your extra motivator, extra cheerleader, mm -hmm. you know, in, in you getting through those resolutions. Aside from that, I'd say don't start a self-blame game. A lot of people tend to judge themselves and blame themselves when they don't make up their resolutions, mm -hmm. right? My tip for you is to remember that it's a marathon, not a sprint and not a competition. So when you fail, it's a very good yeah. yeah. So when you fail, don't focus on how you fell, but focus on how do you get back up and continue that marathon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, so th that's the endurance that is being mm -hmm. tested, yeah. not how fast you are. But whether you can get up again after each failure, for example. Mm -hmm. And of yeah. course, we want we want to stress that be grateful with what you already achieved. Yeah. Because uh, most people is forgot that even in one year, even you not uh, reach your specific goals, mm -hmm. you may be reach another uh, anything else, something yeah. else. Mm -hmm. Okay. So so back to your case, Rachel. Uh -huh. You did not even make any resolution, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. What bad could it could it make mm -hmm. if, like, for example, I. I will not make any resolution this year, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Well, you know yourself better, right? Okay. Everyone knows themselves better than anyone. Mm -hmm. So I'd say if that works for you, go ahead. But if it's leading to a harmful behavior, then I say like, you know, maybe you want to take a step back and take a moment to introspect and to reflect on what you've done. Mm. But if you're not a planner and you're just kind of like go with the flow, oh, I want to do this, okay, then you go ahead. That's totally fine because what's more important is that you're committed to the growth and you know why that growth is important for you. Mm -hmm. No matter if it's in the beginning of 2024, if it's in the middle of a random day in May, <laughs> or mm. if it's like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, during the Independence Day, you know, something yeah. random, that's totally fine. Mm. But as long as it's what, what's important for you. Will it differ though, uh, resolutions that are created by somebody who is very optimistic mm -hmm. and somebody who is very pessimistic in a way, or mm -hmm. maybe quiet, um, log logical. Mm -hmm. Would, mm -hmm. Do you think that's going to be different? And mm -hmm. what good or bad would it be? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, something that is too much, sometimes is not too good for you. Okay. So it's you need to remember that there needs to be a balance of both. 
Hmm. It's kind of like a balance between your heart and your brain, right? So if you're kind of like too logical, then maybe you wanna reflect if it's good for you or not. Okay. If it's like too unrealistic, then measure out how your expectations would be, how that like level of success would be if you're putting too high of an expectations on yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then like if you're a logical person and you make logical goals and that works for you, then go ahead. Oh my God, but I'm very much triggered by what you mentioned and also mm -hmm. you were triggered by um, being grateful. Uh -huh. Sometimes you forget, you know, little things mm -hmm. that you should be grateful for. Mm -hmm. But there is, let's say last year there was this very big problem that happened mm -hmm. to you and that's the thing that you remembered the most. Mm -hmm. And so you you just didn't have any drive to basically start mm -hmm. a fresh and flower, mm -hmm. flowery mm -hmm. and, you know, um, mm -hmm. sort of like bright year. Mm -hmm. How 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 do you mm -hmm. how do you have motivation mm -hmm. when you had you know bad past mm -hmm. for example? Especially mm -hmm. if you are fear of failure. Mm. It, okay, last year oh, I'm yeah. failed. Paranoid. That, yeah, that, paranoid. That, uh, the overthinking mm -hmm. that happens mm -hmm. again. You, this bad thing will happen mm -hmm. again. Yeah. I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. How about that? That is totally normal. Okay. Fear is normal because it's a human emotion, and thankfully we're all humans, right? Yeah, we are. So. When setting up resolutions or any goal, fear mm. is bound to happen mm. and fear is inevitable. Mm. But how we kind of combat that is by adopting a more positive mindset. It's kind of like seeing a glass if it's half full or half mm. empty. Mm. Both sides are true, but it depends on how you want to see it. So adopting a more positive perspective, mm -hmm. seeing failure as a stepping stone instead of a roadblock mm -hmm. can help you using can help you use the fear as a motivator it's kind of like that regret that i was talking about mm -hmm. earlier mm -hmm. using that and like flipping it over to a motivator mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. gen z gen, gen z kids like to say romanticize right oh, so wow. it's kind of like of romanticizing you gen z? failure uh, this is so relatable to what <laughs> <you're saying. laughs> yeah, yeah but romanticizing life yeah. romanticizing failures mm -hmm. is something that you know it's down to happen no matter yeah. what you do don't might as well romanticize it yeah 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 stop being a drama uh -huh. queen or king <laughs> but can you take it to a higher level for example mm -hmm. uh say you are in a company or mm -hmm. you are in a team in your yeah. office and then you want to set your resolutions together mm -hmm. and maybe there will be differences right mm -hmm. from each one mm -hmm. do you think it's also a good idea or resolution should just be mm -hmm. made by one person mm. oh that's really interesting Personally, I think that's a great idea because okay. that's also kind of like a team building activity. Or maybe too, a family, right? for example. Yeah, yeah, that would be great because you'll get to know each other more. Mm. You'll get to understand each other's perspective mm -hmm. and it gives an opportunity for you to compromise, to work together, mm. to find solutions together. Yeah. So, I mean, that's actually a great idea. You may have inspired me to do this. Yeah, because I, I keep thinking about, you know, resolutions for the family. Sometimes mm -hmm. what I wish for my daughter to achieve mm -hmm. is not something that she wishes yeah, to achieve. That's right. Right? So, expectations, huh? It comes yeah. back to expectations too. And how do you manage your expectations when you mm -hmm. make resolutions? Mm -hmm. Probably in a family, if you are doing it in a family or at work, it's mm -hmm. important to give everyone the space to share their mm -hmm. expectation. That's number one. And to listen and try to understand that people's perspectives and expectations are different. Mm -hmm. If you're doing it alone, mm -hmm. it's important to kind of like reflect on whether your expectations make sense or not. I feel like that's the number one question to mm. be asked. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? Can I do it? Am I being illogical? So and if I, there are so many yeah. um, unknown factors, mm -hmm. that means uh, it will likely be a failure. <laughs> I mean, if yeah, if, if you're saying maybe, maybe mm -hmm. in this in this year, maybe mm -hmm. things are gonna be better. Mm -hmm. But it's only a maybe, right? Mm -hmm. You don't know for sure. Yeah, because a lot of things are actually beyond our control. <laughs> exactly. And yeah. if you have, if you are having troubles with setting like realistic expectations and goals, mm. it would be a really good idea to share it to your friends or family or even professionals. Mm. Because sharing it to your friends and family can give you a different outlook. Maybe a different one, maybe the same one, and that would help you with a reality check. By meeting clinical psychologists like me, we are able to give you a more unbiased perspective, mm -hmm. a more like clean slate view on whether your goals are, you know, are suitable for you or not. 
Okay. So you don't have to keep it all in. So it's oh. definitely okay if you want to share with family. Actually, actually, it's really good, right, to mm -hmm. to have motivations to mm -hmm. make resolutions so yeah. that you can be the better you in the mm -hmm. future. But what about people who are just so magr in a way? <laughs> <laughs> they just don't want to make anything. How do you trigger them to mm -hmm. come on, wake up? You know, you mm -hmm. have to look mm -hmm. at the, you know beautiful future mm -hmm. ahead of you. Mm -hmm. It's such a golden question whenever anyone <laughs> yeah. asks me how to motivate someone. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh, what a tough question. Because it answer. happens to me sometimes mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a personal question. <laughs> I don't know about you. <laughs> That's why I'm really... Uh -huh. <laughs> I think motivation, I see motivation mm. as a feeling, as an emotion. Feeling motivated. Ah, okay. So, I personally feel that instead of trying to achieve that motivation, mm. you need to start building your sense of achievement first. So instead of setting those high and big top goals, set for the smaller ones first. Collect the because, small trophies. Yeah, small trophies, I like yeah. that. So if you do small things successfully, mm. that builds that sense of achievement and that confidence. later on, yeah. yeah. Builds confidence, builds motivation, and builds productivity. Okay. Yeah. okay. Do you have any question? Like for your <laughs> two-year-old daughter, does she need a resolution? Oh, of course no. No? <laughs> okay, how... But for me, I have a resolution, mm -hmm. so... You do? Yeah, of course, okay. I have. Uh, but it's, I'm not writing it down. Is mm -hmm. it uh, okay? Doesn't have so to be I just down? keep it in my mind. So this mm -hmm. year I want to achieve A, B, C. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not uh, make it specific mm -hmm. uh, what, what I want to achieve, but I make it uh, more general in, mm -hmm. let's say, in uh, jobs, in uh, career, I mean, mm -hmm. and then in economically. Is it mm -hmm. okay to not, not make it too very specific? Too detailed. Mm. Too detailed. If it works for you, it's fine. But mm. if I may, mm. it would be a good idea to write it down because we tend to forget things. We you have know, a bank of data of in your head. Like you can open your Microsoft it's somewhere inside <laughs> yeah. there. And, okay, I mean, it doesn't take a lot of time either. You know, yeah. you can pull up your notes app and just like write down yeah. some goals for your work, some goals for mm. family, some goals for you. Like just as a reminder for us and when you do check in maybe in the middle of the year, mm -hmm. you can see what specific goals you started. We hope year. that we remember to open our resolutions <laughs> that we created at the beginning. You can put a reminder, you can put an alert. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it. six months again, I have to put a reminder. Yeah. That, okay, ring the bell. And then I'm also curious that you mentioned that uh, there is a positive mindset, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, which is, when it's still mm -hmm. a positive mindset it, mm -hmm. and not uh, what too hopeful? What too, yeah, too hopeful. Or illogical. Mm -hmm. Too illogical mm -hmm. and too mm -hmm. optimistic. Mm -hmm. What is the barrier between mm -hmm. border between yeah, mm -hmm. different? Mm -hmm. This is a really hard question to well, answer. Yeah, we're testing you a lot of questions <laughs> today, actually. <laughs> the boundaries between like too optimistic and meh optimistic mm -hmm. probably is in how you view it. If it's like, oh, I'm gonna work out like five times a week, every wow. week for the rest of the year, that may be like too much. Mm -hmm. Sometimes by asking ourselves questions, does it make sense? Can mm -hmm. I do it? Can I commit to it? Mm -hmm. Can give us answers to whether they're reasonable or not. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we have troubles ourselves realizing that they're too optimistic. So mm -hmm. that it's a good idea to talk to your friends, talk to a professional about mm -hmm. it because it's not your fault if you don't realize it yourself. Mm. You if you're know? a person that you bound to not commit, so mm -hmm. not very committable, some somebody who mm -hmm. cannot yeah. commit on something, let's say... These are very tough questions Yeah, today. <laughs> I mean, okay, let's say you're gonna exercise for five times a mm -hmm. week, every week, so mm -hmm. just buy the membership, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, isn't that one, one type of a step that guarantees mm -hmm. that you, are, you will be committed? Mm -hmm. Do you need to mm -hmm. do things like that? Well... Did you ask yourself first why you ended up buying that membership? Because why we, is it important for you and why uh, did you end up doing it? And whether can you commit to it and so that we don't are bail you ready out. To it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean if you if you're committed, if you mm. bail out from it, mm. you will feel guilty a little bit somehow. Mm. I don't know. Hmm. I like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> so then again, like if it's if you're financially stable and have, you know, you got plenty of money oh, yeah. and it won't affect you negatively in any way, mm -hmm. that might be a way to try mm. to get you committed to it. So you kind of like mau nga mau do it, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. You have to do it. But if you're 
not in a good state of life and you're impulsively doing that mm -hmm. and it brings negative consequences uh, yeah then stop then doing do it you know impulsively yeah if you want to make a resolution let's say you see your friends uh, successfully to lose weight mm -hmm. and build a big muscle wow don't okay. make your uh, your own resolution impulsively based on see what that person yeah. chief, isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So first ah. of all, be honest mm -hmm. to yourself. Yes. Don't look at social media and ah. look at Don't how successful at your media. friends yeah. are. Yeah. Because I people tend to. That. Yeah. 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 yeah, and suddenly That's make your resolution point. based on what they have achieved, yeah. not oh. us. Oh my God. People always romantize, yeah. romanticizing their okay, lives. Okay, Gen Z, stop media. saying that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's important because we tend to forget why. Mm. We just, you know, write this and that. Why do we have to achieve all those, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes okay. we just don't do it because mm. we're just like, okay, let's just make it because everyone's making resolutions. I'ma make mine. Mm. But we don't ask ourselves, am I doing it for them or for me? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. why am I doing it for me? Mm -hmm. If I'm doing it for them, why? Mm -hmm. Then maybe you want to book your session after that with a therapist. Yeah. So so let's say like we both have kids. Mm -hmm. I just want to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. When we want to give tips like mm -hmm. to let's say my my kids, mm -hmm. how can I tell them make a good resolution? Realistic resolution. Whoa. Realistically. How old are they? Uh, well, my mine is two. <laughs> <laughs> two is a little too yeah too <laughs> young for that. Well, my youngest is nine, uh, mm -hmm. ten almost. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I have a sixteen year old as mm -hmm. well. So mm -hmm. I guess it's it's their mm -hmm. time to make resolutions, right? Mm -hmm. I think you can start from asking questions based on the SMART goals that I mentioned earlier. Mm. Oh. So specific, how specific can you write those goals? Mm. For example, instead of spending more time with family, mm. maybe you want to make it more specific into um, every Sunday we will Do spend. basketball together with yeah. dad. Exactly. Mm. And then you can ask them, instead of answering the questions for them, you want right, to ask, right. ask it instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they you know, give you answers that you're not really happy about, you can ask leading questions after that. Oh, yeah. How about this? How about that? Mm. But that answers, if, it, if, if it's possible, should be from them. So they feel more motivated to do it because it came from them. Kind of right. like that. So specific and then measurable. Can you measure that goal? Mm -hmm. You know, every Sunday playing basketball with that, that's pretty measurable. Mm. Attainable, achievable, yeah. Pretty achievable. I don't know. You can answer okay. that. And then relevant. Is it relevant for you? Is it important for you? And then time bound. It's pretty time bound, you know, because mm. it's Sunday and it's, mm -hmm. if it's a new year resolution, then it's a yearly and annual thing. Okay. Yeah. We're good to set our resolutions, okay. I guess. Do you still have questions in your head about resolutions? No. No, you're good? Because I'm, I want to uh, improve my New Year resolution. Maybe. Ah, okay, so you get inspired. That's good. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rachel, for enlightening us once again. Thank you for having me too. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. All right, so that was our talk. I hope, hopefully that you now can make your resolutions that are achievable, that are realistic, and also making you a better person this year. And don't go anywhere yet because see the stories will continue after the break. Stay tuned.